guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today, we're going to be reacting to Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 23. Now, guys, in the last episode, finally, Canute and Torfin are face to face talking, and Canute is a completely different person. My man blames God for everything. He wants to fight God, go to war with God, and he needs strong warriors for that. Nah, bro, I think he's just trying to justify his bad deeds because my man's turned into a psycho to gain power necessary for peace, but he's the one bringing war upon people and farms and all that, right? So, looks like he has no intention of going away from this farm, right? So, I don't know what Tofin is gonna tell him because I don't think he can force Kanuch to leave, let's be honest. So, I don't think he, they, they can fight their way out of this, but what can he really tell Kanuch that's gonna change his mind? I mean... Right, Einar as well, like, they, they cannot change his mind, so Canute is probably gonna take over, and I, I don't know, I don't know how this is gonna end, but I'm here for it. That being said, I ain't gonna pull this that much, if you enjoy my reactions, you know what to do. Let's go. Let's skip the intro, and let's see. Sonata ni yo tomeru koto ga dekiru ka? No, they don't. Ano toki no Asheratto no yoni. Power corrupts. Oro kanari. Waga musuko. Imada o ni nari kirenu ka. Naze ano yona gesen no mono domo ni sonata no shinjo o akashita no da. Yeah, but those sheep weren't always sheep, right? I mean, I guess he is using this metaphor for all humans because there's only one king, right? He's above everybody. But nah, I think Canute shared his honest uh, feelings with Thorfinn because deep down he knows that Thorfinn's pretty much the only one can, they can actually understand him. Because in a weird way, Askeladd influenced both of them. We saw that Canute learned a lot from Askeladd in that short uh, time they spent together, but so did Thorfinn, right? They just chose opposite sides of the spectrum. So I think deep down, Canute knows that he's intertwined emotionally with Thorfinn because Thorfinn is pretty much the only one that can understand where he's coming from, right? He was there when he was, right, when all this began. Niger. Oh, he's not gonna fight. I did not expect that. <laughs> My man was like, I will run. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna live by his own rules. Damn. Canute is breaking. Yo, what the hell? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Yo, my man hasn't laughed in a long time. <laughs> it is because as a man who grew up knowing only war and right, my man is trying to attain power to make everybody stop fighting, right? Basically, that's the only solution he came up with. But Torfin here, as dumb as he is, took a hundred punches to the face from a strong warrior just to come here and be like, please stop? <laughs> my, man was, my man was literally, please stop. <laughs> like, he doesn't have an army, he doesn't have anything. And my man Torfin said, oh, well, in that case, I'm a run. <laughs> what? I know it makes no freaking sense, but that's exactly what made Canute laugh because... He's so used to people bargaining, pleading for their lives and all that. And Tofen's here just like, eh, I'm not even faced by all these men you have here, right? Ready to kill us at your command. I'm just gonna dip. <laughs> That's hilarious. No. Huh. Well, 
not true because your power is not the same as his. He's going like he's creating this world with power, but you're going to use something else, kindness. And you can't measure that, right? You can't say his kindness is weaker than his power because they're completely separate, right, uh, things. So Torfin, if he puts his mind to it, I'm sure a lot of people like Einar and, and right, uh, people similar to them would flock to Torfin. Let's be honest. And he can really create Vinland, something that Tors talked about. And I love how his answer here really correlates to where we started from, right? Do you remember when old man Leif was telling Torfin the story, right, about how Vikings uh, fled the king back in the day and they created this, right, they settled on Iceland or whatever and, and Torfin got mad and he thought that that's a weak story, that he's lying, right, that uh, what a disgrace for the Viking race, right, to, to just flee. And now his answer is, I'm a run because conflict isn't worth it, bro. It's not worth it. I'm just going to keep running until there's nowhere left to run. That's kind of, that's a beautiful answer, bro. Even though you might seem weak in the eyes of somebody who deems power to be the strongest tool in their arsenal, it's still a beautiful answer because he doesn't care how you see him. He just wants to survive. He knows it's not worth it. It's never worth it. War is never worth it. I love it. Yeah. True. Maybe that's what Yo, did my man come here to die? He wanted to fight all of them. Oh, Dorfin really changed this man in one dumbass conversation. Who would have thought that all you needed to tell this man is that you're gonna fill his gap? <laughs> my man, bro, that's hilarious. Where is he going? Oh. He's... <laughs> His mom and sister, man. Ikonoka. Torfi. Are you coming with him? Vinland. 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 That's a nice idea, but... My man's gonna kill them with kindness. ヒョウダイ。一緒に来い。ビンランドに平和の国を作るんだ。アルネイズさんに胸を張って語れるような。Oh, as promised. Hontoni Kore de Inoka Atakayo Yameru Ketsuda Ostat of Kikimasta Svarashi Kotodes Oreva Tugone Moka Kateshimata. Damn. Ah, uh, he was kind. He was really kind. Gin Ichimaruka de Moa. They didn't take anything, man. Legends. A true warrior doesn't need a sword. Mm, blisters. Hmm. 
めく人生だった無数の苦痛もこの世の断りだとどこかへ They're really trying to, to go to Vinland or create it if it doesn't exist Engrave that encounter upon me Yo, what an ending, bro Is that it? I think that's it Bro, what an ending! Damn, that got deep! That got hella deep! I am, I am, I am honestly surprised. The, the answer, him making Canute leave, Canute accepting that answer, and actually laughing his ass off. He did not expect that at all, bro. My man was not prepared for a wholesome Torfin. And yeah, my man said he's gonna fill in his gap, and that's how he's gonna save the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was a wholesome ending, bro. And finally, we understand what that engrave it meant in the beginning, because I'm pretty sure they mentioned that in the beginning of the show, and uh, or at least the second season. And now we finally understand what it means. And yeah, my man left a mark on the land, on the people, on the enemies, on, on everybody. And he went his own merry way with Einar. They're gonna create Vinland if they don't find it. And he finally understands the story Leif told him about his predecessors leaving, leaving the continent to escape from war, bro. Damn, and he fully embraces it. I have no enemies. A true warrior doesn't need a sword. His dad would be proud, bro. It only took him 15 years. You gotta love it. That being said, guys, today we're going to be reacting to Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 24. Now, guys, in the last episode in that a wholesome ass episode, Torfin made Canute pack up and leave, bro. And all my man said was, please leave. <laughs> That's hilarious. It really shows that Knut really has that soft side in him. And he even went up against his father, who, like, the dead head talking to him. He, he told him to kill him, but no. Torfin's words were just so strong that he reminded Knut of who he really was. And my man disbanded half his army, and in doing so, gained the confidence of the whole nation. Nobody attacked him. There wasn't a right... Nobody went up against him. So my man actually did the right thing, and Torfin helped him in doing that. Now Torfin and Einar are traveling to a distant land called Vinland, which is the name of the show. So let's see if they find him or create it. I don't know where this shit's gonna go right now. But it's awfully interesting, I, I might add, bro. That, I, I, I'm invested as hell, even though there's like like two episodes after this, I think. But that being said, I ain't gonna pull on this that much. If you enjoy my reactions, you know what to do. Let's go. I'm gonna skip the intro. And let's see. What is next? Okay, are we gonna go back to Iceland? Is he gonna see his family again? His sister? His mother? So the car Are Yo! That's a good question! Now let me let me make a prediction. The sister is definitely married. There's a guy in like maybe that guy that went with tours. You remember that kid that wanted to declare love before, but then again half the village wanted to declare love for her. But tours told him, gave him a pep talk, like you need to become a man, like and just tell her how you feel. Like something like that. I, I'm willing to bet he's the husband now, because he was a sweetheart, and now he's helping her with the chores and everything because she was a warrior but his sister was no slouch she was a strong woman right and then the mom is probably with them and all that like yo maybe she has a child yo this is interesting let's go the <laughs> おっちゃん。
helped a lot, but because he left, she had to take on all the responsibility and become such a strong woman, right? So I guess she probably blames him. But then again, he didn't have a uh, easy life either. He literally saw their dad die in front of his eyes, and that was right with those Viking pirates and Asclad and that, like a slavery. My man has been through some shits, bro. Just to come back so you can hit him in the face, <laughs> kick him in the face. <laughs> Don't they, don't they say like your mom is gonna recognize you no matter the age? So he should just go to his mom and she's gonna be able to get, to, she, she should be able to tell that's her child. <laughs> what home? True, come on. Oh, shut the hell up. Are they insinuating that this kid's gonna be the kid from, uh, right, uh, Ironheart, the girl that died, and right, because they lost the kid, right, but he wasn't dead, he just went away. Yo, if that's the kid, if that's their kid, that man. Yo, this is a crazy. This is crazy. Imagine just seeing your child after 15 years, bro. So good. Look at Leif, so proud of himself. That's crazy, man. After 15 years, seeing your mother. So all those kids were from his sister. It's a big family. Yeah. And go where? Wait, what? That's crazy. <laughs> Funny. Yo, she's strong, bro. Rebirth. Yeah. Yep. この世界から逃げ出したいと思っている人は大勢います。私とトールズも戦士の国ヨムスボルグから逃れ。人々が戦争や奴隷制から逃れ、どこまでも逃げて。水平線の彼方まで逃げ切ったその先で。Yeah. Yeah. ありがとう。おっちゃん。まだ船を降りない気か。さすがレイフさん。そんなうまくいくの？大丈夫よ。何やりようはいくらでもあるさ。Such a beautiful sky. You get this in Norway, and it's beautiful. That's a nice view and all, but it must be cold as balls out there. <laughs> so he's really gonna create Vinland. Or maybe find it, discover it. This is Thor's, right? When they were escaping, he cut his hair? Yo! He looked better with long hair, bro. <laughs> he should have kept it. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. 
Okay, so they're setting out on a journey. Leif is gonna help them, and they're gonna try and uh, discover new land called Vinland. And it's supposed to be fertile land. And uh, Einar is very good at right taking advantage of fertile land. He knows how to. He knows all about cultivating the land and plants and all that, right? And uh, I guess uh, I guess we do need manpower and all that. I guess maybe Leif is gonna find a way to. Maybe we can. Maybe we can call Kettle and maybe he can send us some funds because he does owe us. Maybe Canute can help too. But I don't know. But this is gonna be interesting. So we're gonna. Is there gonna be a third season? Right. I think there are two more episodes after this. Then again, this might have been the season final. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't check ahead. But I think the first season had 26 episodes. So I think by that logic, this season should have two more episodes as well. I guess I'll find out after after I stop this recording, but regardless, these two, like, the, the last episode, this episode, such wholesome endings, bro. They even made me cry at this one. The, the reunion with mom and mom knowing that's him, right? And, and the way she just jumped at a chance for him to redeem himself after telling such a messed up life, right? He killed a lot of people. He also went through hell and back, right? And and, and when he said, I need to, to create Vinland or find it, discover it, and, and she automatically understood what he meant because she went through that with Tors as well. In a way, Iceland is their Vinland that they discovered to run away from, from war and slavery, right? And now, even that's, like, the world knows about Iceland, so now they need to go even further and discover new lands and, and right, wait there for the people who want to a new start, their rebirth, so to speak. So that's wholesome. Wholesome as hell. Thorfinn again has a purpose, and it's not a violent purpose. So I guess the the show is gonna continue in that direction, which I love. Okay, guys, I just found out this was the season final. <laughs> there are no two more episodes after this, so this was it. This was a wholesome season, I must I must say. But I don't really know what's next. I guess I'm gonna take a week off to kind of. Right, gather my thoughts and relax a bit because I have a lot on my plate right now and second core of a thousand year blood war is coming bro we're gonna bench watch the sub version we're gonna bench watch the first core in sub so I can get used to the voices for the second core that's coming in a week so after that I, I'm probably gonna right in a week or two put a poll to replace Vinland uh, Vinland Saga but uh, I promised a sports anime so that poll might be all sports anime then again, tell me in the comments what you might want this poll to be with. But uh, yeah, I might I might give you a poll only sports anime because I haven't watched any sports anime and I'm honestly intrigued about that idea. How does that even look? How, can that even be interesting? I mean, sports anime? What, what they, they don't have powers. What are they gonna do? Right? Play baseball? Like, <laughs> I don't know. So I think that might be interesting for me to see. Then again, tell me in the comments what you think. And yeah, this was one uh, wholesome ass season, bro. <laughs> like, th this show took a turn and looks like it's season three. I don't know when it's gonna come out, but if it eventually comes out, it's definitely gonna stay peaceful and wholesome, which again, I love. That being said, that being said, I ain't gonna pull on this that much. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, love you, enjoy, and bye.